All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, quick update here on a big earthquake hitting the Honduras area, if this is correct. And it looks like it is because there's a signature of a major uh, mega quake coming into the Honduras area. Uh, this is an 8.0. First 8.0 since 2021. There we go. 8.0, 20 miles outside of uh well 20 miles deep here 126 miles southwest of georgetown cayman islands area goodness this is probably going to produce a tsunami let's go ahead and check out the latest information uh from the tsunami warning center which is right here that's a major up uh upgrade i believe this came in as a 6.8 uh 8.0 tsunami threat there's currently a tsunami threat to colombia haiti puerto rico uh, Saba and Aruba potential threat is in effect right now in all of these locations around the Caribbean from this major mega quake 8.0 earthquake into the Honduras area folks uh, man all right so let's go ahead and check out uh, what the latest statement says here West Coast information is really not going to be a uh, be a threat see what we got here so this is for well this is for Hawaii hold on a second here no this is a tsunami warning center out of Hawaii I meant um, goodness 8.0 that's just a big one trying to catch my breath on this one that's a major quake so hazardous tsunami waves from this earthquake are possible within the next three hours along some of the coast of uh, and this is what's listed here the uh, cayman islands jamaica cuba mexico honduras uh, bahamas haiti and so on as you can see uh, so basically if you're around the coast in any of these locations where there's pin drops those are the tsunami threat zones and it looks like they have included uh, the area down here and between the uh, North America and the South America region uh, due to there obviously being uh, the water down there right so anywhere there's a uh, water a body of water with a major earthquake then uh, that's gonna be a potential tsunami uh, let's see here real quick 8.0 it is on the uh, trying to think which if there's a subduction zone in here that's a big old quake looks like earlier yesterday there was a 4.3 out here not a whole lot of earthquake activity here recently i think most of the movement we've been watching over in uh the greece area santorini area but that's a big quake folks let me tell you that uh, is going to ring the earth like a bell for quite a while all the seismograph stations there picking up that uh, big old earthquake 8.0 first one since 2021 i knew it was coming uh, it seemed like uh, as we push it off more and more it was uh, eventually going to happen. As uh, far as did you fill it reports out here, nothing coming into the area that I see. Maybe a couple, but uh, you know, this is uh, let's see how close we are to the Cayman Islands, Georgetown, 126 miles southwest. Um, but there is definitely potential for tsunami there. Let's go ahead and check out the. Uh, Oh, the National Data Buoy Center. See if we have any buoys out there in that region. And if they are, they would uh, potentially be in alert mode or tsunami mode. Um, there's only a couple out here. Nothing's in event mode that I can see. Of course, this earthquake just came in. Um, but it doesn't show anything here in event mode this this could obviously be updated here quickly um so play it safe and get away from and out of the water if you're around that region once again the tsunami warning warning center here has issued a tsunami threat for various locations here on the map the pin drops are areas that you guys need to be away from this looks like a localized event more than likely this eight pointer did produce a tsunami uh it's a, a pretty significant earthquake uh, so again tsunami threat colombia haiti puerto rico uh saba aruba uh, man there's it looks like they're adding some more on here there's an advisory for puerto rico 
Virgin Islands in advisory, but uh, anywhere within the purple dots there, got to get uh, to safety. Let's see. I've seen the Tsunami Warning Center drop that down. Let's see if you look on the map, shows 7.5. Now they have this north of Honduras. Which one's which, guys? Come on. Hello. USGS sticking with an 8.0. So we'll cover this and more, folks, a little bit later on this evening. Need to get this video out. There is a tsunami threat for around the region, folks. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here in a little bit.